I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. This synthesizer looks like a toy, but it doesn't sound like one. This is the Mutuka FM by Arthur Jolie from Brazil. It has the same vibe as a toy piano. And if I had to set up a band for a Michel Gondry film, well, I would pick this synthesizer. And many of you seem to agree because every time I post a picture of it on Instagram, it gets thousands of likes. And that had some unintended consequences, but more on that later. The Mutuka FM excels exactly at two kinds of sounds basses and leads in the style of Boards of Canada and other early warp artists. has two VCOs with matching waveforms. VCO1 works in a higher range than VCO2 and VCO2 can also be said to be an LFO. The filter is beautifully smooth. You can modulate the filter via the envelope and VCO2. The envelope can modulate VCO1 and VCO2. Oh, 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 oh,
VCO2 can be used to modulate VCO1. And a lot of the excitement of the synthesizer comes from doing just that. This is all rather simple stuff, but the sound that it has is just so warm and lovely. It sounds like it has tape already applied. So I wondered what happened if I record this on my 4-track. It does have MIDI and an internal power supply that I see the day of a small synthesizer having that. Ah, oh, I wouldn't have thought. The Motuka FM is a very limited synthesizer. There is no noise source. You can't play the filter. There is no dedicated LFO. You have to sacrifice VCO2 for that. And there's no audio in. So. I found it hard, for example, to make percussive sounds with it because a white noise source is, for me at least, necessary for that. I find there's a lot to be said for a synthesizer that is designed to look inviting. This is something my kids immediately picked up and wanted to play with. It's not scary to learn synthesis with it. It's nice that there's a synthesizer that can be at home in the living room as well as the studio. It's definitely a conversation piece. When I mentioned in the beginning that this got many likes on Instagram and I posted about it, it also helped Arthur to decide to create more synthesizers because he wrote me that he had almost given up on making more synthesizers. But he got such good feedback from people seeing this synthesizer that he will do more. It is not cheap. It costs 3,500 Brazilian reals, which is about 650, 700 euro or dollars. That's to be expected by something this boutique. So you pay for the beautiful design, the wood, the wonderful screen printing and for the sound. There are many more synthesizers that are cheaper, but none that is as charming as this. So thank you, Arthur, for sending me this. I've had a great time with it. On my Patreon, you'll find a sound pack from the synthesizer as well as music. And thank you for supporting me there. It's the reason I can keep on making all these videos. If you have any more questions, do put them in the comments below or visit the subreddit. Thank you all for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.